Beep, beep. What is up, ninjas? Maquelas. Not a week goes by without a Joe, a Jimmy, a Mike, a Michael. Ask me how to make that effect in that Tech House song, which goes like... So today, guys, my goal is going to be to put some of the more famous, popular Tech House modulations you guys hear in Tech House in this video. Now, if you guys want to support the channel, make sure to head over to evilsounds.com where you can find a lot of my Tech House, Techno, Future Rave, etc. Sound banks for Serum, as well as sample packs. Best way to support the channel. And with that being said, let's get straight into this video with the first modulation. The first modulation we're going to start with, guys, is the Dotty of the Bunch. As you can hear, this in almost any Tech House song out there. Now, for this, we are going to be utilizing an LFO as our desired modulation source. And the good thing is, in Serum, we're going to have this awesome little LFO, which obviously we can do a lot with. Think of it as super flexible. Get a low pass filter here, and you can go with whichever one you want. Each one will give you a different vibe. Obviously, the lower the number, the less strict it is. So, if, for instance, you're going to see that it just covers more of the highs, a little bit more of a harsher cut. With that, we're going to bring our LFO one here, and we're just going to rot it like so. You don't have to go cut off all the way down, but we're going to put it at 9 o'clock because that's when I bang. All right, so if we're going to turn trig on. Now, the idea of this uh, modulation, the way I like to do it, I like to utilize a mod reel here, rot it there, and bring it down so that way... I just have to modulate that one thing and then from there you can also route it to the course pitch but again there's other ways of doing this but this modulation again is very 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 generic from there just work on your sound sword right, now as we do this you can see it's not as smooth as we would want it so the thing is we got to turn that bpm off because real g's don't fuck with sync uh and same goes when, when we're djing and shit all right so what we're gonna just put the rate up lower that and that's going to be the more dotty modulation. Now, we can get dottier with this one because now what we can do as well is we can route this macro knob to our course. Alt shift click. All right, that's going to give us that little effect. And we can also go the opposite way, going down to Satan's butthole. Now, let's say you want to be a sound designer like me and you want to program this in the patch because the people that use your presets never mess with the mods. Uh, then all we would have to do is we're going to have to run an envelope here, sustain down, decay, amount of time it takes for us to read. And we're just going to kind of set it in the opposite way where we want to go and how high we want to bring it from. So from there. That's how we get that. And then from there, you can also route this to the course. Now, whenever you hear a sound that has that sort of effect to it, this is the modulation. Again, the sound might sound different because, again, you can switch the sound source. You can choose to have, you know, like a sign, etc. But anytime you hear anything like that... It's always going to be the same modulation. Just remember, it's the sounders that plays a different role in kind of switching that up. But that's going to be the first one that you can do, which is the more thotty and the one I get asked about the most. Now, the last thing I'll say, guys, is again, you can also put this like so. And again, you're going to switch up the way that sounds like. So essentially now the shape's changing. And again, very flexible thing. I love it. And again, uh... And the last thing is I can open this guy up slowly as well. So you get, again, more complexity. And from there, you can mod other stuff like delay. Now we're talking. The next modulation we're looking at, guys, is going to be the delay effect. Now, this one's a little hard to explain, so I just got to let you hear it. And the way it's going to work is simple. You want to, again, you don't want to mess with sync because... Real G's don't use sync. And what we're going to do is set this up, high feedback, and play a note. Okay? Now, the key here is to modulate. All right, so we're going to get this really cool effect. Now, we can kind of um, link both of them, so that way... And we can do a lot of really cool stuff. 
Now, you might be going like, yo, Sen, that doesn't sound consistent if I ever want to do it. And you're right. You're going to have to sample down in order to make it work. So what we're going to do here is open up an audio. We're going to hold command, click on this guy here so we can hit some notes. And we're going to hit record. And we're going to have ourselves a little techno session. We're just missing the cocaine. But anyways, we're just going to hit record. All right, and once we're done with a little techno session and we've came down from the cocaine, then we can kind of just go in here and find the parts that we like the most. There we go. And then you just go like so. From there, then you just mess with it in any way or form you like. So once we have the... Okay, and then from there, you know, you can kind of modulate like... Or just grab that little... Got a little late again, just keeping it fresh. Okay, and again, you can kind of and so I think that's really cool, and that's the delay effect. The next modulation is very similar to the delay one in the fact that you're utilizing sort of a time-based effect. On this one, it's going to be reverb. Uh, so what we're going to do here is just kind of play this here, take this off, and. And again, you're going to be resampling this. So you're going to want to bounce this down and then dial it in how you want, shape it to how you want. But sort of has like this sort of tape stop effect to it. But it's a really cool one that, again, not a lot of people know about. So it's kind of like the Viagra stopped working a little bit. But you get the idea there. That's the reverb one, which is pretty cool. The next tech house modulation that we have, guys, is another very popular one to make the lead sort of cry a bit. You're going to see this more a lot when artists want to make the saw lead sound a little more interesting or make it sound like it's groovy or funky or just... It has this really cool effect. Now, the way we're going to do that is LFO 1. We're going to route it to our fine, to our phase. And if you're utilizing an LFO, by all means, add it on there as well. From there, we're going to put a bit of a rise so it slowly comes in after we hold it on. So, for instance, I'm going to put mono legato on, and I'm just going to play... And you kind of hear how it's wiggling a little bit. All right, we can make this a little bit more up and a little bit more apparent. Okay, we can also use delay instead. So the delay is just going to delay the effect until whatever time you desire. It's maybe one fourth or one half. As you can see there, again, the rice is the one that's going to kind of slowly bring it in, however. All right, let's go a little further. And from there, you can kind of choose the speed that you want. The other thing, too, is we can take off the BPM, the sync again, because with G's. Uh, and that way, you can kind of fine tune it to where you want it. Now, the other way to do this effect would be to start from zero and slowly work your way up to it. So let's put the desired effect maybe at 20.4, no sustained decay, and we're going to come back. And then just give it a bit more. Sounds a little techno-ish, but it also sounds a little goofy, but that's uh, a really cool effect that I personally like to, again, I'll just make standard saw leads just a little more interesting. For instance, here we can just have a saw. And that's the effect, just the wiggle. So if any of these modulations have failed to inspire you in any way, we got a couple more. This next one's going to be more of a chip tune or chip effect. So it's just going to sound sort of like a telephone. And you again, you can apply this to any presets, etc. I think most of these modulations you can. The way this one works, guys, is we're just going to use this with, um, with a square. We're going to use an LFO on the octave. Alt shift click to make it unipolar going in one direction. From there, we're just going to bring our trusty friend, the square, and just play. Up. And we're going to have an effect of this sort. 
Okay, from there, you can just add any sort of effect you want. Let's put a bit of a release on it to that. That release is just gonna make it so when I let go of the note, the 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 synth still has sort of like a like a little blanket effect, like doo -doo -doo, and it sort of fades out. Similar to a delay, so if I put this long enough. So again, you can use this effect in really cool ways. Um, obviously, we can put a, an envelope maybe of sorts. This is a little bit more advanced in my opinion. Uh, but we're just gonna have this maybe the sustain um, go like so and route this here. Or opposite. Uh, and we get some really cool kind of effects. So again, the theme of your song really matters because if you don't have a goofy or kind of video gamey sounding song, then this one wouldn't make sense. But again, it's all in the in the sound source as well. A little bit more alien and freaky, high on ecstasy vibe. Again, really cool. And from there, just like flanger. We can even go with like maybe like a little bit of a saw. Can't go wrong with that. Again, you can even add that little effect we all love, the... So again, let, let all of these kind of combine together to make really dope modulations. But again, hopefully I'm inspiring you. Let's keep going on. The next modulation we have, guys, is going to be for those of you looking for some acid-based sounds that you can make inside of Serum. And this is probably the only synth you have. And it also to shut up the techno boomers who said, you spend $3,000 to get that acid sound, bro. So yeah, I mean, technically, if you want it exact, and for sure. But again, we can get kind of close to it, and this is the closest I've gone to it. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to run a band pass. From there, I'm going to use LFO1 with the mode set to off. And I'm going to route that to the cutoff. We're going to put it like so. We're going to put maybe like one bar. From there, I'm going to have a MIDI here from a brand new pack I'm working on, Paradox Volume 2. First one did really good, guys. So the second one is coming. Uh, but the way this works, check it out. I have this little acid line mono legato on. All right, so we're just gonna kind of loop this beginning part real fast. Now from here, this is a cool part. If you kind of know um, how you want it to go, like beep, 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 or however, then you can start to set up these really cool kind of modulations to it. So I'm gonna do some random ones. Let's see what we get out of it. So holding all to just nail it there, maybe like this, just do some random stuff. Again, I don't know what I'm doing and what I'm getting, but we're just kind of having fun with it. Maybe fast. Again, we can make this in any way, so it doesn't have to go that fast. Uh, we can also kind of just drag slowly. Okay, so you get the idea with that one, but the idea here is, is that you have to set this LFO uh, mode to off. But the cool thing about it is that you're going to see if you're starting at the beginning of a bar, it's always going to start there. But if you're just playing like with, with, able to, uh, with Ableton not in play, it's just going to go and do its thing. Uh, Put it from there. So again, this modulation is cool and you can apply it to almost anything if, you know, I could do this as well and just go maybe like hardcore saw on it. Take that off. Boom, killer. Now, the last few modulations I'm going to show, guys, I've made tutorials on, and that's just going to be Tech House Laser. So, again, lasers are going to be like, doo -doo -doo, pew, pew, kind of vibes to them. Uh, and the way we're making those, again, is just utilizing a filter. Uh, we're going to use white noise for this one, so we'll just go bright white on it. And then from there, we're just going to run an LFO, trig mode on this one, or envelope if you want it to play once. Uh, I'll, do, I'll go trig just so I can mess with it. You can also go bandpass a little more so it's more precise. Distort a bit, let's see. I have this bad habit of putting um, reverb on everything, but again, just bear with me. All right, so we can use any sort of noise. 
to kind of create a laser effect because again the filter is creating it but the other way too is we don't have to go with that we can also use a saw but the idea there is just with the pitch just and from there just desired here we go with the sign it's a little bit more of a refined Okay, as you can see there. And from there, you know, I can start to do anything. I can switch to sound source, do FM, anything crazy again if you're trying to be unique by all means. You can kind of get very unique. And then start to add like maybe a phaser before that, right down, so that way we can kind of touch. That one sounds cool. <laughs> I like it. That's a... And again, just getting it to sound unique, but that's how we make those kind of laser effects and stuff. And I'll show you guys one last bonus one just because I'm kind of bored. So we're just going to go oscillator, filter. Again, this is just ideas I've developed for new presets I'm making for you guys for the new techno one, but I think you can use them for tech house too. I like these formats, dude. They're super sick because then you can go. To start the shit out of it. And then I'm just gonna run 116 on it so it sounds like someone's talking. <laughs> and then Mono Legato it, so let's see. <laughs> Putting holding shift, I can do these kind of modular modulations, which is again another form of. hit us with that beat man all right guys and that's going to be the end of the video for my favorite tech house modulations which is a compilation of the most requested modulations i get asked about now, if you want to check out more guys make sure to check out the deceiver series over at evilsounds.com essentially it's just tech house packs that i worked really hard on and they've been used the only reason i know is because a lot of artists will use my music which i always hear and i go like that's me oh shit. and of course whenever you guys send me videos like of sonny fodera showing like some of the projects he has and one of my presets pop up pops up it always makes me feel a little honored and just grateful that people support my work so make sure to check him out guys a little bit of the validation speech there out of the way and i'll catch you guys for another time for another video my killers bring tech house to the light to the mainstream and let's get into it yeah, it's funny. Yeah, it's funny. Yeah, it's funny.